Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I will be talking about Global Positioning System or GPS. Let's see how GPS works. Consider this as a surface of the earth and imagine some conditions. Imagine that you were very unfortunate and you have lost your way on this ocean. Maybe you are traveling on a boat and something happened and that you have lost, finally, of where you are. Luckily, you have a phone with you and you can make a call to your friend to help you out. But for the friend to help you out, he has to know exactly where you are located. So you call to a friend and ask for help. The friend is having a device with him that can measure the distance between himself and you. So let's see what will happen. The friend of, to whom you call, the friend says that you are somewhere around 2500 kilometers from him, from his house, by measuring his distance from his house and you. So you are around 2500 kilometers, that means you are on this circle. You are not outside this circle, so you are not somewhere around here, but you are somewhere exactly on this circle, and you are also not inside this circle. But even then, you are pretty much high chances. You can be anywhere on the circle. So to make it more accurate, you call another friend of yours and that friend says that you are on around 1500 kilometers from his location. So now you feel a bit excited. So you can either be at this point or at this point and nowhere else because these two circles can intersect only at two points. So to finalize this location, you make a call to your third friend and that friend says that you are at 1800 or 2000 kilometers from his house. So voila, you are now exactly sure of which position you are on this entire surface of the earth. So there is by three friends and three imaginary devices that can measure the distance between you and another position can help you find out the exact location of you. This technique can be used anywhere on the surface of the earth. You can have three circles and you can have the position immediately. So let's see how it works in reality. The analogy which I showed you in previous slide are like this. The friends on the surface is equivalent to the satellites in the space. Instead of circles, the satellite will give you sphere. The satellite can have a work around in a 3D space. So it will be giving a spherical location of the distance. Now, on a plain paper, two circles will intersect at two points and three circles intersect at one point to give you the exact location. But in case of sphere, two spheres intersect to form a circle. The third sphere will intersect this circle at two points, say A and B. Now, either A and B will lie on the surface of the earth and hence the earth acts as a fourth sphere to finalize your location. Just I will repeat again, the two sphere will intersect to form a circle. The third sphere will intersect this circle at two points A and B. Just for a, imagine, now either A or B will lie on the surface of the earth. Hence, the earth will be acting as a fourth sphere to finalize your location. Let's see how it works in a diagram. Another point is I forgot is to improve upon the accuracy satellite we use four satellites since satellites are not as stationary as your friend. So just for improving the accuracy we have another satellite or you can say as in the analogy case you are using a reference of four friends, another friend of yours to just to make sure that the other three friends have not given wrong distances or not, have not done wrong calculations. So let's see how it works in case of three dimensional space. This is the surface of the earth. There is a satellite which is revolving around and this orbit. There are three other satellites. <coughs> now to get this location, these satellites will give their own space, own three dimensional spherical surface. Now these three spheres will be intersecting at common point. Let's see how. The green sphere and the red sphere will intersect in a blue circle. This blue circle will be intersecting with the this violet sphere at these two points. Now one of these points will lie on the surface of the earth. 
Now this point is the location at which the position or the person is located. Now this fourth satellite helps in increasing the accuracy. So now we have around 30 satellites out of which 24 is required and the rest are spares. So why we have 30 satellites? It is because at any point of time we require at least 24 satellites so that we can have 4 satellites in our view. The 4 satellites can give the position of, give measure the distances from, from our position to their position because of which we need 30 satellites. Had there been only 4 satellites then when these 4 satellites were on the opposite half of the earth, when they couldn't see the other side of the earth then it would become very difficult for them to give the exact position. These satellites measure the distance by noting the time taken for the radio signals to travel from the person to them. Multiplying the time by the speed of light gives the distance. Thank you for watching. Now in the next video we will be dealing some exciting other instruments on measuring the distance as well as measuring the position of yours. See you in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.